Let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we gather this morning, we went through a whole week, a whole week of eventful in our life. So the first thing we do, give, us, give God thanks and praise that we have a nice weather, nice place, warm, cozy, at the same time that we survive the storm, safe and all. So this moment, we take a, take a short moment, look at our shortcomings in our daily living as we prepare to celebrate the Eucharist. You were sent to heal the cancer of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinner, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as outstanding preacher and the intercessors in their need, grant that in his assistance, as we follow the teaching of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your sons, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelve. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then he left and followed Elijah and his attendant. The word of the Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my lot portion in my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart extorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to another world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. The Lord be with you. A reading from Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciple, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you, all that you vow. But I say to you, Do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single white hair or black. Let your yes mean yes, let your no mean no. Any more is from the evil one. 
the gospel of the Lord. One way we can look at the gospel today is a little beginning foundation of how Jesus telling the uh, disciples. As a first step, I, I suppose the disi- uh, disciple possess the spirit of truth in them. And when they go out and preach and serve the people, be true to themselves who they are, especially that they are going to be sent out, sent out to serve the people, and we all call to do so. And this morning, uh, our seminarian willingness to share his reflection again. So, right, John? Well, after giving some thought, I found the Bible verse, do not swear by your head. Speak to me and I interpret it to mean that God can see within our hearts and minds. This allows me to experience the eternal relationship with God from the bottom of my heart. So even more, as I reflect on the gospel message daily living, I find that we can learn something essential about how to live our lives and that is to always do what we say. We also must remember that actions speak louder than words. So so when we say something, it's important that we do it out of love. It isn't necessary to swear and try to exert that you are correct with long recitals of promises. According to the gospel, we should simply let our yes mean yes and our no means no. Anything more is from the evil one. God is calling us to be honest so that we will not have to swear just so people can trust us. So today, response to our psalmist, you are my inheritance, O Lord. What does this mean to us in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic? What does this mean to us in the midst of a divided nation? Well, the response to reminds me that we all belong to God. Being a successful person in society today is to get rich and popular. But what is the point of chasing after those things if at the end, what good would it be for someone to gain the whole world but to lose their soul? Well, I find that God gives our lives meaning. And when we have God, we have everything. But this belief is the reason why I decided to leave behind my lifestyle in the college dorms. I would say that I was living the best life that I could ever have, but it was all vanity. I understand the fact that it was just temporary happiness, meaning it would eventually go away. And to secure internal happiness, I would be willing to give up anything in this world to gain the true, true joy. And I have experienced a taste of the permanent happiness and striving after God. So to end this reflection, I would like to quote St. Augustine who said, you have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our heart is restless until it rests in you. Amen. Let us stand for a prayer petition. We pray for the church that we may live a God's holy people, manifesting God's love and compassion to all who enter our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our parish community that we may recognize the work of the Holy Spirit who has called us together and unite us as God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the freedom of spirit, that God will unbind us from possessions, grudges, resentments, so that we may be free to love and offer our gift to service of others. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for peace, that God will transform heart and heart, closed minds, so that bloodshed may be end and peace may be established for all who are experiencing conflicts and violence. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Now we offer our prayer and petition, silent, deep silent in our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God, the Father of love and mercy, we ask you to help us to guide us in our daily life, truly the spirit of truth in us. We ask you to listen to our prayer and grant up according to your holy will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the breath we offer you. The fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, this will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the one we offer you. The fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, this will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offering placed on your altar in the commemora commemoration of the blessed St. Anthony, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through this sacred mystery, Grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Anthony, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. So with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, God's of course, happily Bless us to see you come in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the form of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mm -hmm. 
the mystery of faith, we proclaim until the person has action, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the Pope and David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who says to your apostles, peace that leaves you and my peace that gives you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May partaking of the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Saint Anthony, that we may preserve integrity, the gift of faith, and walk in the path of salvation. You trade for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The message ended, go in peace. And enjoy a beautiful day as well.